All right. I tried... I tried closed captions, like automatic captions that OBS has, uh, and they don't seem to be working, because if I do low stream latency instead of ultra low latency, I've heard that improves uh, buffering with people with bad connections. We always ha seem to have a little bit of issues with that. So I'm trying... Oh, sorry about that noise. Uh, I gotta plug in my headphones. Um, I wanted to do automatic captions during the live stream for, you know, accessibility reasons and all that. But uh, I don't know how that works quite yet. So uh, let me get chat on screen here real quick. How you doing, chat? You'll be... Where are you, chat? Mew. I moved around my thing. Oh, here we go. Mew. There you are, chat. How you doing, Parker? Mew. See Aisha already in the chat? That's right, Parker. That's right. That's right. You are a noise child. Yes, you are. I guess we can get that thing off there. All right. So if you missed the last stream, we are about to enter Deep Well. Which one is my latest one? This one. I really wish this game had more save files. I, I started making a guide. I should post that real quick here. Uh, let's go to sirtaptap.com. It's the latest article on there. Um, but I'll toss a link from the old chatterino there. There you go. Hey, Amir. So, I have some stuff in the guide already. It's definitely a work in progress. And if you have questions, feel free to ask them. And I'll kind of fill the guide out as I figure stuff out as people ask questions. And all that. I did get an answer about the um, Hangman. You can fail the Hangman game. I, I don't think it's like a permanent thing, but it gives you a special little thing. Which we might see pretty soon. How close are we to that hangman? Very close. I, I don't know if he just needs the little legs. I don't know how many more he needs. But um, odds are we have two left of the real ones. And I think like 10 to get total or 10 or 8. Something like that. So, just st statistically speaking, we are more likely to fail than to win if we just get random keys. And I don't think it like permanently ruins your save file or anything. So if I if we get the bad thing, we'll just get it. Oh hey Sasimoto, it's been a little bit. Good to see you. I'm doing pretty good. In fact, I'm gonna pour a little wine here. Oh, hang on, you don't want to hear the, the the piss sound. I mean the, the wine pour sound. If I had a, a webcam, I might, like, give you the wine-pouring ASMR, but I feel like if you can't see what's happening, it just sounds, it just sounds, you know, renal. That looks, look, that looks ominous as hell. Why are you sitting by my chair? That's danger zone. I can't back up my my chair because Parker's sitting directly behind it, which is a very bad spot. There's, there's definitely Yumi Nikki vibes in this game. There's, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's a fishbowl. There's a little braided anal bee, I mean, you know, seaweed. Are those butt peaches? <laughs> I think those are butt peaches. Which are just normal peaches. In fact, all peaches are butt peaches. Wow, just look at this place. So many cool plants around. Has anybody, if anybody has done a live stream on YouTube with closed captions that worked, let me know. I tried to check it out in the preview. I'll do an unlisted stream just to myself and test it out later. I didn't want to risk having empty caption files preventing the automatic captions from working um, because that would be even worse. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Hold on. I noticed the, the captions for the last two files didn't generate. So far, anyway. So I'm gonna change my audio a little bit. So many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. 
again. If I could hire an editor, just fix all of my stream crap for me. I just, I just want to play games and talk. I, this, there's a lot more to it than that, and you don't see that part. And be glad you don't. It's a pain in the butt. Basil, he would have really liked it, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he would have. Awkward. Learn this game is amazing. It really is. I've really been enjoying this game. As, as evidenced by me streaming at two to four hours every day for the last, like, full week. I've never streamed a game this intensely. I've never streamed anything this intensely, I don't think. But yeah, I had this last week off, which I go back to work tomorrow. So if we don't finish this up, I'm not sure if I want to stream on a Monday anyway. But I might, just because I don't think I can wait until Friday to keep playing this game. Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? What do you mean, Hero? He's your friend! Why do you ask that, Hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers, taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. Even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. Oh no. It's okay. Me, me too, Hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard for me to remember why. That doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend. More importantly, he needs our help. So there's... I'm pretty sure we're getting to the part where things get a bit more psychological. That's right, Parker. That's right. You're a good boy. All right, you gotta not be on my table, though. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have a more to keep us on track. All this time Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. But he could use a big hug right now. Parky beast, come on. <laughs> he just hopped on my desk in order to walk over and hop across to the other side. That's why I'll be able to get again. We should all give him a big old hug. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you two getting well along for a change. Yeah, there's always the VOD if you missed the stream, Aisha, but uh, it's always funner to catch them live, but uh, that's why I always have the uh, the VODs on. I don't get people that don't archive their stuff. I guess for li like speedrunners and stuff, it's like, you know, 600 versions of you streaming the same game, but I don't know. If I did speedruns, I did do speedruns, in fact, for Bunny Must Die. I just kept it all up there, even the bad runs. Oh, it's nice to see you two getting well along. Oh yeah, wait a minute. This is a lot more dialogue than I usually like in my stream games. I usually, this is definitely the longest game I think I've streamed the whole way through. Other than birthdays, the beginning that was intense, but we did that as kind of a once a week thing. That's a much chiller thing. Oh, me and Kel get along. What are you talking about, Hero? Stop being weird. Haha, <laughs> relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Now, oh, speaking of streams that were too long. Um, Ghost Trick will be returning as a Let's Play, like, uploads, instead of a live stream. It's, it was kind of a difficult game to stream, just there's so much talking, and I couldn't get to Montechan edge edgewise. Hold on, Basil, we're almost there. We'll be together soon. I mean, Ghost Trick was almost as long as this game, and it was, like, pure dialogue. Like, this is, like, half combat and exploration and wandering around. Uh, I did really enjoy that game, but it's hard to stream. Mew. Destroys my voice too. This this is totally Yumi Nikki. Like what the hell? This is like that teleport maze, but I hate this much less. <laughs> Can we finally fight these? No. Okay. I hated that teleport maze. It's always my least favorite part to get to. Oh no! There's three. This this is the teleport maze. Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. Are you a frickin' salt vampire from Star Trek? And yet, all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed the curse of Deeper Well. I don't like this place. I don't like existential thoughts about memories fading. You know the worst thing about memories fading? The memories you wish you could just drop and let go and forget about forever? Those are never the ones that go first. It's those are the hardest to get rid of 100% of the time. That absolutely sucks. 
what that, that place so many games I've never heard of. But yeah, that, that's kind of the point of the channel was always to, uh, you know, show new stuff. Get you out of your comfort zone, hopefully. Got a rain cloud. Oh, oh, there's a dude. I want to talk to the dude. Oh, jeez. This... <laughs> what if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, dreamer. You're the only one who can. So this area seems to finally be acknowledging who I really am here. The universe is full of questions you will never answer. Yet, there are also ones that only you can answer. Truth is revealed. What will you do? This area is much heavier than any of the other non-real world slash nightmare areas have been. It's, it's getting a little bit spooky here. So for people who might have missed a lot and are willing to get a spoiler, because I mean, it's important. So this world, basically this whole world is a fantasy world created by Omori, right? Yeah, huh? Oh, there we go. Got life jam. And, um... We're looking for Basil, which don't nobody confirm or deny this. If you know spoilerinos, please seriously no spoilers. This is like spoilers for a game less than a week old at this point is no. But um, I think Basil might not have lived. When trouble shows itself, there's always the choice to run. But one day you may find yourself running alone. So this is where, this this seems to be finally a place where Omori is being forced to uh, face what really has happened in this life. And this, this feels a lot like Earthbound's thing with Ness, except Ness's revelation basically came for free. I always thought that was kind of dumb. Like, Ness has like this epiphany and becomes like a god creature. He doesn't really have any realizations, like, I guess because like, kids game sort of but like it's really abstract he just literally fights his inner demons but he doesn't he's like eight he doesn't actually have any meaningful demons he just beats up a statue and gains god powers <clears throat> i feel like omori is kind of doing that but like there's some real trauma and stuff in here sean shined brighter when she was here it's referring to mary i'm sure very weird contemplative music too. The hands. Ah yes, the hand tun- The hand tunnel. It's kinda like hands drifting away from trying to save someone, in fact. Um... Base- Basil? Ba basil? A long time has passed since you ventured this far. Deep layers of this world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you, if you're curious. You will choose. Hold up. Hold up. I feel like that's the right way to go, and in true video game fashion, I want to see the side content before I, I'm like forced to get this brutal emotional revelation we're about to see. It's a really weird game in Steam Store, pretty strange and strange, called The Good Time Garden. I did play that, I, in fact. It's like Undertale. It is, this is a lot like Undertale. They're both strongly inspired by uh, Earthbound. And Undertale specifically a lot by Off. That's a, that's a fantastic game. And all three of these games, Undertale, Off, and um, this game, have all been inspired by Earthbound's um, aspect of... Earthbound acknowledges you as a player in an interesting way a couple of times. Like the thing where it asks for your name, that's straight out of Earthbound. Which both this and... Actually, all three of the games that I mentioned do exactly that. And they're all much darker with how they handle it than... Did I go, did I go here? than Earthbound, but it's a very interesting concept. Minus. It is selfish to dream for so long when those who are expecting you. Letter. That's straight out of Yumi Nikki. There's, def there's so much Yumi Nikki in this. Time will always move forward. Decay. That's a cool name. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this well, don't you, dreamer? Alright, 
prepare or prepare your metaphorical balls for the um, the emotional kicking that's about to happen. So I've gone to that and that is it. Wait, did I go to this one? Yes, I did. So I got it's it's still an art. It may be emotional and all that, but it's still an RPG, and I still got to get all the stuff. I feel this is something Earthbound almost intentionally avoided. It was like, there's almost no reason to like dick around. There's really almost no side quests. Empty. With time, what is important will change. You must choose what you keep, what you cast away. Not everyone has that choice. I don't like this area. This, this is very... <laughs> huh. Let me tell you, everything that's happening right now is brutally true. As someone that, that went through college and the first years of work and like gradually fell apart from people and I didn't mean to by any means and I'm sure they didn't either. And you just, you don't always get to stay together like you think you will. Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you. What makes you human? This place, this place is way too real. Someone tell me a funny story. Someone tell me a funny story in the chat. I could use that. Gem packets. But yeah, Saucy Moto, I played uh, the Good Time Garden. In fact, I've got a full video of it. Oh, let me find that. Good Time Garden. I have, half the time people recommend me interesting, weird games. I've already done a Let's Play. I've noticed that. RL knows that pain in our Discord very well. Um, RL has recommended at least five or six games that I've already done full Let's Plays of. Um, but that's good. I like that. That's kind of to be expected. I've literally played over 1,000 games for YouTube, by the way. Um, but I like that. It shows that you guys, you guys get my taste, but, um, don't, don't ever let that stop you from recommending stuff, by the way. Just, there's just reason to recommend more. It shows that your taste is on point. It's what I like. It's just, you know, I already played it. And especially if you have a new, a recommendation of a new game. That is always the most helpful, because the one thing I am the absolute worst at, I'm a big procrastinator. I can't, um, you know, stay up to on stuff. And so if you have a brand new game, um, that is always the most helpful thing to recommend, because <laughs> it sucks, but more people look for a game, right, when it's brand new, and a lot of people stop checking out things out if they're too old. Um, I'm not about that life, but it does help me view-wise to cover new things, and... I'm bad at forcing myself to pretend to care about new stuff. That's a lot of games. It is. That's ten. That's ten years of YouTube. It's about a hundred games a year. It's still a lot. A branch. Coral. A coral branch mutters. J oh shit. <laughs> Guys, I um. Oops. I kind of um. Shit, I, uh, um, I accidentally, wow. That's rude! <laughs> That's rude game, but... I wasn't emotionally ready for it yet, and... Shit. <sighs> That's not cool game. Okay, so I'll go back and get... We didn't get anything important from those items. That was just random trash items I was so worried about missing. Um... I hate when games do that. I, I wanted to read what you had to say, but I just didn't want to check it out yet. God damn it. Can I just hold the button and, okay. I guess, <laughs> somebody tell me a funny story in chat while we're skipping over all this stuff. I, at least I can calm my nerves down from this depressingness. That's right, Parker. Hey, Anthony Parker. Hi, Parker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty dang prolific when I get to when I get my mind to stuff. I just recorded four uh, videos of um, Ghost Trick earlier today. I'm still ready to go. It's like six hours ago though. I made sure to put in a good gap because doing RPGs and stuff, I can kill my voice. I, I just one thing in general in games, finality. I hate that. Like missable stuff like I didn't want to miss things so I stopped talking to the coral because I figured I could talk to it later and I would get my stuff um, 
but no. It was, it was the only time you could talk to him, and I hate stuff like that. If it's gonna be the only time to do a thing, force me to do the thing. That's the only time that's okay, in my opinion. If I've been meaning to write a, a game design article about that, um, just like stressors in video games. Like, as somebody that plays games to de-stress, it always really, um, it's really frustrating when, when games decide to add to my stress instead of reduce, reduce, reuse, and recycle my stress. An English speaker and a French speaker and a Spanish speaker and a German speaker all sit at the back of a room for a performance. This better be good. It's better be bad joke. The announcer asks if they can see back there. They say, yes, we see ya. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Do that. Oh, that's just more existentialism. All right. Man, the stupid, there's no reason for to me to not be able to talk to the stupid branch. I'm mad at that. Somebody email Omocat. Tell them Mr. TapTap -tap is very upset at the branch coral. Neat storytelling device, but why only once? Like, Ghost Trick will do this. They give you the same side of, like, branching dialogue thing. But you have to go through all of them. Long time has passed since he... Yeah, yeah, just, 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 just spill the beans. We wasted... We wasted... I wasted time because of you, Branch Coral. I don't trust your lies. My lost friend, the big yellow cat. Tell me about the big yellow cat. I'm, I'm not emotionally ready for my lost friend. I'd like to know about the big yellow cat. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. The pressing thing is, without thinking it, realizing it, I, I've actually been working on a story that kind of evokes some of these themes. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. Parker. Stop that. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It's an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and the favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. Is there anything else you would like to know more about? Yes. See, why- just bring that dialogue up! Why, why wasn't that- You'd like to know more about your lost friend. Yes. So I'm sure some of this BS is only gonna make proper sense once you've beaten the game, maybe. That's right. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. Parky! Parky! Don't eat that. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. You cannot leave that place alone. So, best case scenario, I'm hoping Basil... He, he's had some revelation about Basil, and Basil is not dead IRL. He's just gone from here for some kind of psychological defense reason or something. I don't know. To retrieve him, you'll have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world. <laughs> is that why I keep stabbing myself? For headspace. Black space, white space, and headspace, huh? This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, dreamer. Parky! Stop that. Is there anything else you would like to know more about? Yes. What's white space? You'd like to know more about white space? Yes, that's what I just asked you about. To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive, but not to live. Even still, your consciousness cannot be erased. I'll always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form, and if one wills it, Something will be formed to subdue it. Oh, I just realized the hands. There's hands in white space that kind of keep you in. That, that grab you if you try to leave the looping area. And the looping area is a very Yuminic y thing, too. Mew. Yes, Parker. There's a lot of hand motifs. Hi, Parker. Hi. 
my game theory senses are wondering if it's if we didn't really dive in after Basil, if there was a hand reaching thing and we didn't really get him out. A hanging black light bulb, the repression of an idea. Oh, symbolism! Light bulbs regularly means ideas, but black light bulb. I didn't even think of that. that that's clever. That's clever, Parker. That's right. That's right. All right, that all you got for me? Yes. Perhaps it's time to admit that you are human, Dreamer. Is there anything else you would like to know more about? Yes. Maybe. White space, big yellow cat. Ow! Don't freaking bite me! You're a butthead! Yeah, you're a butthead! It's not time for zoomies. Yeah. You're a butthead. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Branch Coral. Long time has passed. See, now I can talk to it. Why can I talk to it now? Why would it disable? <sighs> Whatever. We talked to it. I'm still kind of ticked at that, but <sighs> I'm, I'm a big, I'm a user experience designer. I get ticked off by stuff like that. Parker bite me. Yeah, like it's lo like a love bite. I just wasn't expecting it. He's a cat. You own a cat, you're gonna get bitten and scratched. It's just life. That looks friendly. This, this place is kind of like an inversion of the last um, My Sanctuary location in Earthbound 2. It was a lava place, so this is like under sea. Crying rock faces, very good. Razor, very good. Same. <laughs> Little crying like blackness monsters an unhallowed burden has been placed upon you you have the power to change the future what will you do dreamer what will you do oh there's an npc over here how far will you go to save a friend all of the npcs in this area look exactly like um you mean key npcs how far will you go to save a friend? The music's kind of overpowering the weird creature noise. In fact, let me check out the audio levels. Oh, it's actually... Background ambience. Ooh. Musical effects. That one sounds particularly in pain, and I don't like that at all. It's really hard to hear them over the music, though. The music's really loud here. Yuminiki is awesome. It is! It's one of the only games that I've streamed twice in its entirety. Do I want to save? Sure. Deeper well. Mr. Happy Whaleman! Oh, Mr. Happy Whale. Tell me it's all gonna be alright. This also reminds me of Everything Will Be Okay. If you like existentialist depressing shit, um, check out my videos on Everything Will Be Okay. It's an interesting little vignette thing that's, uh, well, it's very existentialist. It has like lots of depressing, happy creatures that look like this. Well, hello there, friends. The name's Humphrey. It brings you here to my humble little cave. Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you're the second group to visit me today. Second group, huh? They play Dots and Co. I don't think so. First was just a girl. 
very loud girl with a big red bow. Didn't that sound like someone we know? Isn't that Aubrey? Huh, is, oh, sweetheart? Is sweetheart there? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> That's a joke it is. She is inside me, you see. Vore time. Sh she's inside you? Why, yes, she's visiting my guests. For I'm also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. So fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they're even kind enough to bring me my meals. Much easier than they see. They are closer to my belly than I am. Fact. I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies. First guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Alright. Are you... <laughs> Are you ready to be vored? I didn't I didn't think this would end with vor, but here we are. Sorry. Love games with mixed cute, happy with depressing psychological stuff. Humphrey! There he is. Well, Humphrey's belly is huge. Everyone this is very Jonah's whale inspired. Many a many a game does this. Ocarina of Time does it. Um, it's, it's like a Pinocchio thing. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> He's got coral inside him. This should be a key thing here. Or, uh, yeah, a key. She looks easy to get lost in here. Bet if I yell, I can make an echo. Echo. Disturbing. Ah, where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I'm always here. I'm inside and all around you. I don't like Humphrey very much. I really don't like Humphrey. I'm everywhere. Or am I just here? Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Yeah, Aubrey, leave the freakish whale monstrosity alone. Hmm. There are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up, around. Does it matter? It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one. It's easy. Oh, that's the, that's the exit. Okay. So you can get unvored. Good. I'm, 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 that's, that, that, that does make it better. You know, just don't get into the acid. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Hi, I'm Humphrey. You're all access pass to Humphrey, aka Slime Girl's lair. What? Are we talking about Slime Witch, the, uh, the Ichio creator? Oh, I just noticed the, the, the... <laughs> wait, his rib cage is upside down. Look at that. Strictly speaking, I guess what you humans call an elevator. Fortunately, we can only take one appointment at a time, so I have to wait your turn. Now, if you can find me a slimy key card, I might be able to pull some strings for you. <laughs> Those are trap doors for ladders. All right, so we gotta get a slimy key card to visit the slime, slime witches, okay. I was like, oh wow, I was getting all existential and stuff, and then Humphreys, Slime Witch adventure. I'm down, but like, I don't care for Humphrey much. Um, wow. Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, I did post on Twitter. By the way, YouTube poop streams coming in soon. I want to do some Mario ones and some Zelda CDI ones. Those are the classic ones. I should have started with them, but whatever. We did the Sonic ones. We did were pretty classic. This is just like an uh, That's somehow worse than an, a stomach acid bubble. It's a snot bubble. Who has snot bubbles inside them? I don't like this place. Bro, how much- how does Humphrey has a whole sewer system in his stomach? Technically, we all have sewer systems in our stomach. 
Snot bubbles, attack raised. Why? Humphrey, why is your battle theme? Excuse me. Why is your battle theme so badass? Why is there like computer servers in your like vaporwave hell stomach? Of course it explodes when it dies. Come back. I wonder what it's like to get to level 99 because it seems like we're going to be ending around like level 40 to 50 maybe. A dubious concoction best left untouched. Little potions or flasks of all sizes. Got a fish taco! The game kind of makes me want tacos. I hate when games make me hungry. You know what the worst thing about food is? I want to have food when I like have already eaten or shouldn't eat food. And when I really want to like chow down and just be gluttonous. I can never eat as much as I actually want to. It's like, food is weird and stomachs are weird. Hey, check this out, humans. Did you know the Humphreys are strong enough to withstand a waterfall's current? Watch this. Yikes, except for that guy, I guess. Oh well, that's just natural selection working. Hey, you know what? I just had an idea. What if we gather enough Humphreys then we can form a bridge to the other side? I was supposed to say that. place makes me greatly really uncomfortable. Let's have a nice picnic in the stomach. Mary, this gelatin is delicious. What's it made out of? Don't say anything that's part of the whale. Mary? Jerry? Son of a bitch. I'm not sure, Kel. I've just been scooping off the walls and floor. Do you like it? Yeah. You, what? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, thank God. I made it by mixing fruit and um, gelatin. Okay, yeah, but what's gelatin made out of? Well, Kel, gelatin is made out of gelatin. I see. Well, whatever. Food is food, I guess. I think gelatin is like boiled, like connective tissue or something actually it's a meat product of some sort so gelatinous candies gelatinous candies are um not actually vegetarian which i actually learned just like a couple years ago um so if you're vegetarian you can't have those honestly not very good um candy corns because they have gelatin in them gelatin animal bones is it like cartilage or something it's some kind of not meat but like animal tissue thing Bone marrow, something like that. Now, Amori, I know what you're thinking. Thinking to yourself, wow, sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you. It'd be recommended only to set up picnics in normal places like forests or campsites. But where's the fun in that? If I want to study the whale of an anat anatomy of a whale while I eat, then what? Expand your mind, Amori. Let me set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. Oh, how dare you, but that's how big sisters are. So, let's see our side quest list. Wow! Really just two burly. Perfect inspiration, the ultimate weapon. Present. Oh. But, but Basil's not on the list anymore. Should be. Huh. Basil used to be a side quest that was listed and now... Now it's just gone. It's not even in the complete one. So yeah, we only have two side quests left so far. Hope to have helped a little. I'm here if you need. Ma! Field work in progress to not starve. Hey, I get screwed. We Humphrey and Medusa's sector provide ourselves in being best of the best. Gip, 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 gip. Hey, Humphrey, you want to join a friend Humphrey at the waterfall? Of course I will. I thought you'd never ask. Mom, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh my god. Can you... Hmm. I don't like Humphrey. Medusa treats us well and feeds us regularly. Can't say the same about Marina or Molly. There's three sectors in his... Uh, his stomach aren't there. And there's like different bosses or something. So I figured there would be like more areas. I, I didn't think we'd be ending this tonight. Biology is my worst subject, but that's never stopped me. That's comforting. This looks like a job for Cal. Does it? Oh, there's a bell over there. Well, like a job for bell. Owned. Plonk. Ew. Not 
knocked out that blockage. All the Humphreys from Arena Sector keep disappearing, so she keeps asking Medusa for more. Well, I hope I'm not next. I don't like what's happening in here. Imagine how much pain Humphrey is in. Eh, he'll be fine. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I don't know why it's not mobile right now. Are those pants? Those, oh, no, it's a shirt. Okay, I, th I thought that was like sweaty shorts or something. Hey, Humphrey, do you want to join your friend Humphrey at the waterfall? Parker. Sure, I love making bridges. I feel like I'm almost channeling that creepy old guy from Family Guy. Mmm. Y'all wanna come down to my house? Mmm. Ugh. God, how many years has it been since I've watched Family Guy? Hey, Lois, remember the time I got swallowed by that whale? Nah. Is Family Guy still on? Like, do they still do Family Guy? You wanna join your hunt, Humphrey? Yeah, yeah. Okay, if that's what everyone is doing. It's the perfect voice for him. It really is. I wasn't sure at first. <laughs> it's a mimic! It's a water mimic. Counter, wind up, throw. Yeah, power hit it. <laughs> Captivate. <laughs> Oops. That, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I did curveball. Oh wait, no, I think the watermelon did that. <laughs> well, it spelled its own under- wow, 4,000. Watermelon juice and learned exploit. Oh, I like the sound of that. Um, I can never really get rid of the stab though. Deals extra damage to a happy, sad, or angry foe. I guess I can see how that's damage is, you know, how that. How that weighs against the uh, the knife attack. Stab, rather. At least it's nice and chill music here in Vor Dungeon. Colorful potions of blast of all sizes. It looks like a little face. Is this Medusa's lair? Ooh! Oh, I like that beat! Look at all these cool plants here. You know what, one thing we might do for a live reaction, how about that, um, oh, for a live stream reaction, how about that, um, that live dubbing of Sonic Adventure 2? That sounds pretty funny. I, I've, I've heard bits of it, but most of it would be fresh. Would you like to see that? Hmm, basil. Basil? What's the, that's the name of this plant here. Oh, it's so cute. Kind of reminds me of something, but... I can't remember what Aubrey no. Don't make me sad. Don't <laughs> this is a slime bunny. Of course this is a, this is a slime bunny. At least it's not a snot bunny. Alright, let's try and exploit. Let's try and exploit for the snot bubble and then compare it to a stamp. Two hundred twenty-one. All right. Someone remember that in chat. Two hundred twenty-one. That's what exploit does. Snuff bubbles attack gross. Ew. And then painful truth to the slime bunny counter. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Yeah, we might have to stream that sometime soon. Uh 
Uh-oh, don't kill it. I gotta stab it. I gotta stab it. Alright, 220. And then... Can you just, like, not? Sure, counter. Kel. I'll just try rebound. Hero, you can just, like, snacks. I can cook for Aubrey. 221. Ooh! Okay. Exploit is much stronger, but price wise, let's double check the price wise. Because that dealt twice as much. And I don't have to be sad, so that seems pretty legit, but I'm sure it's more expensive. Okay, 13. <laughs> of course, it's the unlucky number. 13 versus 30, so if I have a better skill. Lucky slice. Attacks first. Attacks. Attack that stronger one I'm always happy. You know, sorry, lucky slice. And let's see. We haven't seen Amori with maximum happiness yet. So let's try to do that. Um I think Aubrey has the skill to make things happy. use headbutt much anymore. Team spirit. Yeah. Hero has something to make happy too, right? Spicy food, fast food, and chance. Share food. Hero and a friend recover some heart. Mm, Wait, Mesmerize is even better. Oh, it's a little more expensive, but eh. Hero doesn't usually run out of stuff. Alright, so tagging Cal. And we gotta see the maximum... Um, we gotta see the strongest emotions on Amori. I keep forgetting to do that. I don't usually... Mumbo Jumbo. I say that Medusa's experiment has a 14 times 7 plus 42 divided by 11 plus 2% chance of success. Exactly. So who in chat? Pages of research and plant you can't receive. That's just for phrase age. Alright. Someone in chat show me how smart you are by figuring that out in the time that I left it up on screen. And I'm not gonna bring it back up. Because that would be cheating. That would be telling. As that one dude says in uh, the prisoner. Team Spirit! Kel becomes happy, Kel's friends. Mm. Milk. Wasn't oh, there a toy? Looks happy on all friends. Sparkler. Yeah, let's make Amori happy. And then you can, um. Oh, yeah, snack time for sure. There's something menacing about happy Amori. It's kind of unpleasant to see, actually. It's like, that is the face of a serial killer. Ecstatic. Oh, God! That is definitely the face of a serial killer. Why did she become sad? I thought she, she was supposed to become happy, but maybe it was a, a thing happened. Lucky Slice. Team Spirit. Do a rebound. Do a rebound action. All right, let's see what this does. <laughs> it missed. Yeah, so happy. I was wondering earlier in the streams what what, what the point of skills that buff happy or that buff um, hit rate is. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So the point of um, the point of hit rate is that when you're happy, your hit rate is lowered. So if you're gonna be happy a lot, you need stuff to raise your hit rate, otherwise you're gonna miss kind of like Casey Bat situation. In fact, it seems directly inspired by Casey Bat. Because the Casey Bat is super powerful, but... Stomp bulb explodes. Nice. Yeah, I don't like Manic Amori. Let's, let's, let's never speak of that ever again. We got a Cheems Burger! Hero learned Dazzle. Of course he did. Deep fry that image will be the most horrifying. It's kind of already deep fried. Alright, so. Homemade jam. 
You know what? If I, don't I don't have a thing to give him juice. Act first. Here, tar foe targets hero becomes happy. Yeah, tea time. I wonder if I can like get infinite heals by using Kel to regenerate energy and then Hero to regenerate Kel's energy. Speed of healing. Alright. Happy Omori makes me highly uncomfortable, so I'm gonna replace Lucky Lucky Thing. Guard. Serve. Skill, but that's our one of our very earliest ones. Always deals a critical hit. Force defense on the sad. Hack away. Trick lock. Uh, what was that? Shun, sad. No, it was painful truth. I already have painful truth. Sad. I think I'll do shun. I think I'll keep shun. You got life, Jim. I don't like you. Ooh, you got globe. Oh, that's probably for Kel. Yep. <laughs> it's the earth, but smaller. It's a little hard to dribble. Insane. Impossible to miss hit rate. But it does lower our speed. Hmm. Honestly, Kel's speed is so absolutely ridiculous. Maybe we should start making Kel happy then, because then he can do high crits. Del Medusa's mad, because she'll pace back and forth. She'll never mad at, mad at, yell at you, but still, it's pretty scary. So it's a job for Aubrey. I'm gonna call it now. It's just gonna be life jam, or it's gonna be jam packets. That's been in all of these so far. Yeah, you got jam packets. It is an all revive thing. It's not quite a mega elixir, but it's close. So I guess that's why that's in these. According to my calculations, we conquered planet freedom. I mean, reading makes you smart. Yes. Read. You should read more. I mean specifically that to you, audience. Team Spirit. Get that spirit. Why is him... Why is he happy? Um... Tea time. Let's see how much tea time does. So it costs 25. Time. Heals 34 juice, not bad. Yeah, we have basically infinite health and juice given provided enough turns, of course. I'm just trying to slime bunny and see how much damage it does. Power hit. <laughs> Angry Slime Bunny just gets obliterated. Alright, so Kel, you need to give a rally. So how much rally... Wow, about 40 juice each. So he gives up 50 juice and everyone gains, you know, it's like a... Give up 50 to get 120 total. I'll be there last resort and, and we get Tickle. Let's see what Tickle is. Tickle. All, all attacks on foe will hit right in the heart for next turn. 55 though. That's really expensive. Um, of course you can't use that at the battle. Um, was it Aubrey? I really used wind up throw. So if it doesn't miss deals extra damage to happy foes. Deals damage based on Aubrey's heart, but Aubrey becomes toast! 
<laughs> no thanks, bro. No thanks. Ah, oh, yes. My greatest masterpiece. Uh oh. He's French, get it? Alright. Keep reading to do the new, the easier tag method. What's up, chat? You're a little quiet. How's everybody's weekend been? Or, you know. Hopefully, your uh, time off this past week. I had a nice time off. Too short, as always. Who? Oh, there we go. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Just run. I had a good time. <laughs> I'm, you, you saw a fair amount of my time. You, you've seen like two to four hours of my day just from watching these streams. But uh, I had a good time. Good, how about you? I guess I already answered. I, I cheated. There's a little. There's a little more delay. L anyone? Does anyone? Watch your step. Some of the spilled liquids aren't meant to be touched by humans. Um. Let me. D who in chat has buffering issues? I've heard that the low latency is the best balance for chat. Plus, um, you know, not having trouble watching the stream for people with bad internet and stuff. And that makes about that, that makes sense, because if it really, if Ultra Low Latency didn't have any um, drawbacks, why would they even bother to have a separate thing, right? One more wine here. Well, I think we're out. My last cup of wine here. Officially, last glass of wine for the week, anyway. And probably for a while, because <laughs> I drank more than this last week than I usually do in like a month. Not that I usually drink a lot in a month. I already did that. So, we're all clear here. I'll probably be taking it easy from now on for a while. I usually give myself like one or two drunk streams per month. Huh. Hey Humphrey, want to join your friend Humphrey at the waterfall? Oh, this this again. Oh man, bridge duty again. We do I get to eat something. So are these Humphreys like? Do they stretch all the way to the Humphreys like meat, or are they like disconnected? Me at the big waterfall down south. Okay, I'll race you. That should be the bridge, right? Look, we so we look so peaceful if you ignore the fact that we are swimming on a sea of like bile and intestinal gases. Last one of the week is really suggestive depending on whether Sunday is the first or last day of the week. I usually consider Sunday the first day, but <laughs> yeah, good way to cheat there. That's like that thing where um oh what is it um. Let me find that. Here we go. Oh man, this is some serious, this is some seriously high quality. Um, <laughs> glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away. Um, <laughs> there's some serious um, watermarks in that, but oh well, it's not my fault. All right, Yo Kel, what's up? You look good, grown, just a bit taller. She has different things that she says to all the people. I forgot about that. Let's make sure that we talk to her with everybody. I see Big Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> that smug ass face. Hey there, handsome, or maybe you would prefer what's cooking good looking. I don't think we've seen that smug ass face, so it's good that we tried this. I usually just have Amori do things. Oh, no, we've already talked about that. The first video I watched from your channel is the first PragerU YouTube poop reaction. That is an incredibly good first impression. 
I wish everyone watched that. Do you know what's funny? Someone watched the latest YouTube poop reaction said, you ruined it by getting political. It's like, oh, no, I talked about the same thing. It's like, imagine, you know, we're talking about PragerU YouTube poops. These are, you know, far-right conspiracy theory videos made into parody videos by literal socialists and other, you know, leftists for the most part. Um, some of them, I'm sure, aren't made from a political mindset, but, like, a lot of that just how could you not be political while well, Dennis is talking about the war on Christmas and blacks causing the Holocaust <laughs> like what the f what some people are just stupid and that's there's nothing you can do about that that's the, the the saddest thing I've realized my whole life some people are stupid and they'll never ever not be stupid there's nothing you can do it sucks but you gotta accept that Every time I think about smug anime face, I think about that one smug anime face. <laughs> well, well there. Well, well, well there, Aubrey. Looking cute today. You always such, take good, such good care of your hair. Alright. Nothing too exciting, but we saw the smug anime face. So, I'm, I'm proud of that. It was worthwhile. Oh, I should... Oh, I forgot to eat the gelatin. Get ready for bop ba da bop bop Several people said that was going to get stuck in their head forever after the last stream. I probably will. Bridge. That is an RPG Maker ass sound effect. I swear I've heard that before somewhere. Melon. You got melon smoothie. Shirt. Let me guess. Medusa. Oh boy, she coming. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Um, Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, that's her toy. Oh, makes a weird noise when you punch it. Red Ribbon Death plus five. Attack increases more energy. I think she's good where she's at. It's a, excuse me, it's a little risky, but oh, bu, 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 bu. oh my god, we're in, we're in the vor stomach, where the, the holy, unchewed food drops from the heavens. Dis absolutely disgusting. Harold, that's disgusting. Humphrey in this case. Who he, he ate pump? Wait, what? <laughs> this is a sprout mole. Can I fight the sprout mole? It's a fat sprout mole. I want to talk to the sprout mole. He's uh, he's falling very very slowly. No, he's gone. F's in chat. Sprout mole McGee. You were you were a real one, man. You were you were a real one. You can't go into the acid falls, it seems. In a weird fucked up way, this reminds me I need to go grocery shopping after work. Fun. Fun. Let me say it that way, yeah. Uh-oh. Ah. Can't believe Sprout Mole's freaking dead. Actually, wait, yes, I totally can. Because several, like, thousands of them died before. They're not very smart. Bonk. What? What? That's gotta be some kind of code. Alright, there's some sort of code we gotta get. What's this? GAME! It's GAME! Match three guys for a prize. What do you mean match three guys? Blurry censored guy. Um, sharpen filtered guy. Facing away guy. Static guy.
looking away guy. <laughs> this just applies different Photoshop filters. This does not seem like it could possibly be worth it by any stretch of the imagination. All right, but we got, we're, oh, oh no, no, oh, oh, thank goodness, okay. Gotta be real careful. It starts at a random thing. I'm not an idiot, it just starts with a random, I thought it started with the same one, but it doesn't. This prize better be incredible. Better be incredible. All right, so I bet there's two different prizes that fell on the right side, right? You got a whole pizza. That was not worth it. That is a good group healing item, but I, I'm not the type to ever use healing items, like consumable items in general. Oh, good luck. It looks like he's from Timefuck. You know what's weird about YouTube? If you don't, if you swear in the first like 30 seconds, you're screwed. But as long as you wait to swear later, that doesn't matter monetization wise. How does that make sense? Shoutouts to Daphne Gomez. If you're in fact watching the stream. You got an onion ring. I guess that's a like that's a charm. I knew it. Just one. Heart and juice. Uh, not terrible stat wise, but also not great. Oh, this is the veins. Oh yeah, pump. Pump the veins, boy. You can't beat this hand, me. I'm going all in. I'm calling your bluff. You can't fool me, me. I don't like Humphrey. I'm reading a book about air conditioning. It's very informative. Huh, huh. A lot of hard work goes into keeping my physique. Oops. I keep trying to push my keyboard and then the little rubber feet's like flop back in. I'm trying to relax, but I can't stop thinking about this really interesting book I read about air conditioning the other day. They, they're all the same Humphrey. That somehow makes it worse. Reminds me of that flapjack clip where the guy was like, pair of two! <laughs> you know what I'm just crazy about? Air conditioning. Ain't it the greatest? I don't understand people who live in places without air conditioning. Especially, like, like, the UK has always been like, oh, you don't need air conditioning. And now it's like, oh, thousands of people dead every year because of heat stroke. It's like, oh, I, I think you do need air conditioning now, fucko. <laughs> mm. Yep, it's basically required anywhere even near here in the U.S., Like, you, you can literally die without <laughs> proper cooling. So, yeah. What a nice looking pool. Sna Snaily, no! Snaily, no! F's in chat for Snaily. God damn it. Too young. Too young. Well. Damn it, Snaily. You are a hero, a legend. We'll miss you, buddy. Just don't don't dive into acid, kids. Woo! <laughs> oh my God! It's the intro to <laughs> section fifty-two. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> this is goddamn. It is the. You got appendix. This is absolutely disgusting. Um, <laughs> that was the intro to Action 52 for NES. One of the worst video games ever made.
I'm not exaggerating. I'm not like memeing. That's like, um, I actually have a full let's play of that from like, God, from like 2009 or something, like a billion years ago. Um, it's a terrible game. Someday we'll have to stream it again, but not, not today. All my friends left me to go build a bridge, but I'm going to show them up by building an even better bridge. If you need Humphreys floating about, I'm sure to send him my way. That's such a, like, will touch you when you sleep voice. Yes. I'm not a pedophile at all, kids. Now, would you like to come into uh, my unmarked white van? I got plenty of candy for y'alls. Humphrey, could you help us make a bridge? A bridge, you say? I'm already there. I don't like Humphrey. I don't know if I've made this clear, but I don't. Fun! Alright, so we gotta keep going through here until we find all the hum hum Humphreys. <laughs> what a weird... I, I guess it's like it's it's like the little piece of ginger they give you at a, like a sushi place. You get, you're eating all of this um, Inuni food. You're eating all this depressing existentialism. And then you need to um, you need to cleanse the palate with some nice ginger. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, this, this is... Oh my gosh. You! Sorry, I was excited for the you. There is the you. So, I think that is like our last piece before losing the game, the um, the Hangman game. Yeah, unless there's like a face that we have to draw on him. I always avoid that piece of ginger. I mean, it works. It, it, it sounds weird, but at, um, at a proper sushi place, you're gonna play it with your sushi, you give him a little dab of wasabi. Don't use too much of that. It's, you're just supposed to use a little. Um, and there's a piece of, there's, um, a few slices of ginger. Now what's that's for is you eat one piece of sushi and you're about to eat a different kind. Like you eat something with like crab roe, right? And then you're about to eat into this like, you know, steak and crunchy shrimp kind of thing. Um, but there's a different taste and there's going to be a conflict. So you eat the piece of ginger and it cleanses the palate. Like it really works. Um... You're not really eating it for the taste of the ginger, but it really just scrubs the palate clean. It's really neat. And now I am depressed because it has been almost a freaking year since I got to have sushi. Because I don't want to have like takeout sushi. That's not fun. But we used to eat, um, me and a coworker used to eat in at the sushi place every Monday. And it was really neat. And I don't usually... I don't usually go for the sushi. Their hibachi stuff is my favorite. Um, I love the hibachi steak they got. But the, the sushi, my problem with sushi is if I'm going to actually feel full and get a good meal, um, got to have a good meal. I need to spend like 20 bucks and I can't spend 20 bucks every week on sushi. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quite that rich to, um, to just blow it that easy, but, um, you know, every few weeks I would go for the sushi option. And I always wanted to try a shirashi bowl. I've never had shirashi bowl. But, whatever. Someday. Someday. Maybe a sushi buffet. Yeah, I've, seen, I've heard of those, like, conveyor belt sushi things. I don't know if we really have those in this town. I don't think we had much Japanese places at all in this town. We have a really good sushi place. Um, that I like that I don't usually get the sushi, but but it is really good um, And they got a hibachi and stuff too Don't only eat sushi for a meal eat some sushi, but also eat something else with it. I, I guess but I don't know I would usually get two. I would usually buy two of the fancy boy sushis with like different You know, they pack like four or five different things in there That's usually what I get but it is you know <laughs> Yeah, Woo! yeah I know for an absolute guaranteed fact they sampled Action 52 for NES for that sound. I have really tried sushi before. It sounds really gross. It's really not. And I think that a lot of people... 
I would really appreciate it if you guys would wrap this up pretty soon. No rush, I just think I'm getting hurt. Kind of sick. Yeah, this is pretty freaking disgusting. I'm free making bridge. Finally, my time has come. Unless it's a nice and popular, don't go for the conveyor belt once. They sit out for too long and get nasty. Yeah, that, that, that's been, that came to mind, but I've never, I don't even know if we have any conveyor belt sushi. I think there is a different Japanese place. Um, kind of on my way home from work. I've never been there before. But I, what I always wanted, I had good ramen in California. Honestly, I was super unimpressed with most of the food in California. But the ramen, we, we don't have anything like that here. And that's the only thing that made me really impressed. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. They're even $3.7 Eleven sushi. That isn't very good. I, I, I was about to say, like, is 7 Eleven sushi really that good? But then you said it isn't. And I'm like, okay, what's well, where's the surprise? <laughs> yeah, I had some sushi from like a Whole Foods or something in California. I was like, oh, this this is what sushi is. But no, sushi, sushi is the rice roll. Sushi is not raw fish. Sashimi is raw fish, and raw fish isn't that bad. It's not as bad as it sounds. There's the sashimi grade fish is clean enough to eat raw. There is a special, you know, it's it's high quality fish that is safe to eat raw. You can't just like grab a random catfish from the local lake. That's not what raw fish. That's not what sushi is. Um. Man, there is cooked sushi. So I didn't do the middle one, right? Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Huh? Crap. Wait, which one did, did I not go to then? Oh, no. I, I think we're clean. This is a date because there's no rough. It's just auto artificial fist paste. I didn't know 7 Eleven had sushi. I have been slightly tempted by a local gas station's um, the hot dog things. They have all the little rollers. But I have no idea how long those have been there. I think I already did. I think I already did right, but. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can't go right. Okay. There was only four ways. That makes sense because there's only four exits. Alright, I got confused. I meant to say sushi sounds good. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not my favorite. I usually get, um, you know what, let me find, um, buh, 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 what's that place called? Let me see if I can find the menu here. What I like to get, entrees from Sushi Bar. No, not that one. I usually get the Chef Special Roll. So, California Roll, what kind of, um, Oh yeah, Angry Dragon is, um, inside is shrimp tempura, spicy tuna, and mango. And on the outside is kani salad. That's shrimp salad. The kamikaze roll is really good. Shrimp tempura, spicy tuna on the inside. On the outside, uh, tuna, eel, and avocado. What's the one with steak on it? It's a really interesting one with steak on it. Oh yeah, the fire dragon. Shrimp tempura, spicy crab meat, and avocado on the inside. On the outside, steer, seared steak, eel sauce, and spicy mayo. Oh, that's my favorite one. It's kind of expensive, but that is really good. I even post on the Discord about this cheap 7-Eleven sushi. It's just mass-produced goop at this point. Oh yeah, speaking of the Discord, join our Discord. Oh yeah, I'm going to be right back in just a second here. I need to refill my drink.
just tap. I'm sure Amori and Super Friend love hanging in the middle of a ladder while I go BRB. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know, just hold on to a ladder over, you know, dripping acid. Oh, this slime is starting to become a real hazard. She really started thinking about hiring one of them cleaning humpers from Molly's sector. Medusa and her sisters have been researching the world for centuries. Books are the fruits of her labor. Books filled with knowledge is the language you cannot read. Medusa, she comes. Listen to them having fun up there. Those part-timers got it easy. Part-time jobs are always very fun, haha. -ha. Oh, let me see what this, let me see the sushi in the Discord. Oh, I don't see it in the Discord. Oh, you put it in, sh in, oh. You put it in share cool stuff. I'm not sure that's reasonable use of it. Let me find this real quick. 7-Eleven sushi. Why does 7-Eleven have sushi anyway? You want to know why? Why that is not days a week doesn't work <laughs> when you're trying to lose weight? That is not what I tried to put on. And I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. Cardio actually why, burns calories. What is happening? Usually in the form of carbs in the bloodstream. Why? What is happening? Place. Get out of here. Okay. That was okay. I tried to drag an image <laughs> from my browser. I tried to drag an image from my browser and I got that. That's what I meant to do. Doesn't look good. Why is it square? It's mostly uh, something about it is very off-putting. It looks like goo. I don't like it. Get it off screen. Okay. No matter how many times I do this experiment, it never turns out how it's supposed to. Guess it's time to refer back to the manual. You know what's fun is I'm planning to turn this um, these streams into a let's play <laughs> or into a um, no comment thingy, a long play. So at some point, that video and that 7-Eleven meet will show up and someone will be like, what the fuck, God damn it. <laughs> but I'm not recording this whole game again just for the long play. But I would like to do a long play. It's been quite a while since I did one of those. It's mass produced so you can't roll. Huh. So it's just like squirshed with a machine. You would think a roll, a machine could make a roll. Formed from a mold and squareness helps them pack. The people who make mosaics with square sushi. Huh. I've never rolled sushi, so I mean, there probably is some way to make a square one. I don't know. I mean, you just kind of squish it with your hands, right? Ma! What are you doing here? My! It smells absolutely horrendous in here! How much longer is this going to take? My nose is quite sensitive, you know? You will get used to the smell. No, hush, doll, I am working. It is done. Oh, finally! Whoop, whoop. Hello, my perfect suitor! Wake up. Don't touch the glass, you buffoon! You will ruin the experiment. Well, I never! Uh -oh. oh no, the goo! It's a clone, it's, it's a clone of her. Made out of like intestine juice. Oh, this is gonna be unpleasant. There's my tea. It exploded. What happened? Just got little tentacles there. <gasps> A perfect. My own clone. Now neither of us will be virgins. My my word, this experiment. It turned out greater than I had expected. Take a look, doll. The results are absolutely perfect. Behold! An absolutely perfect version of yourself. <laughs> to make a perfect version of herself, she needed a white skirt that's a little shorter, a red top, no bow, and an ominous white outline. Hmm. I don't like her. <laughs> What did you- what did you say? Have I heard you correctly? But she's everything you asked for and more. Obviously doesn't fit the character, but it's a voice I can do, so okay. It's basically a, a deeper version of Cut Man from the Mega Man cartoon. I'm going to make paper dolls out of you! 
Oh, you simpleton! There's nothing more perfect than me, but I see you do not understand that. You are nothing more than a hack! This was a humongous waste of my time. I'm storming off. Oh, I've had enough of your nonsense. Play it or not, you've really struck my last nerve. Who taught you to run your mouth like that? Now, if you'll excuse me, this was a waste of my precious energy. I have much more important matters to attend to. Don't you dare walk off first. I'm the one who's supposed to storm off. She acts exactly like anyone with twin tails acts at any point. Humphrey. Humphrey. Oh. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, my tea is literally screaming at me. Hold on. I should tweet again. Hold on. Sorry, long play. You can deal. So... So we can't actually do anything here. I guess we just witnessed some kind of horrific event at each of the three sectors. Huh. Anyway, hang on, I gotta retweet. Yes, things still exist. So, I don't like the sound of that. Screaming tea is a sign as an enemy. You must defeat it to gain experience and loot. <laughs> well, technically speaking, my um, microwave is screaming at me. There we go. Uh, blood. Yes, radioactive blood. Would you rather drink raw, infected blood or cooked, radioactive blood? That's a good question. And you can't say no. You can't say neither one. Don't be, don't be a wussy. You gotta pick one. This looks like a job for Aubrey. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I expected. Microwave tea. No, you microwave the water. Hurrah! Strange growth. Will regenerate after being smashed. Was that really necessary to tell me? You just hit it and it goes over there. Scientifically speaking, is actually the best made of baked tea. Um, microwaves actually only heat water specifically. So water is the one thing that can be heated perfectly without any kind of op um, issues microwaving. Radioactive blood. What superpowers do I get? You get the superpower of peeing blood and death. Like, not for your enemies, like, just for you. Oh, I see. We gotta... Huh? You okay? There's a sprout mole, a melon. I can't tell what that middle one is. Oh, there's, like, crusty pieces in here. You can fight off an infection, but not radioactivity. I mean, technically... Radioactivity is just naturally lost. I mean, it depends how much, but I'm not going to tell you how many rats it is. So that would spoil the surprise. Hurrah! Intelligent growth! Hurrah! We'll conveniently transform our bridge after being smashed. Th thanks. Boom. <laughs> oh. Would you walk across a bridge with teeth? With blood cages in the distance? 
read. Telephone calls up the wazoo. Hello. Marina is not currently seeing anyone right now. But if you are enjoying the exhibit, feel free to crawl into a cage and wait for the next available experiment. You think it can't get worse. And then it does. You will know when the screaming stops. It just gets worse. It just gets worse. Yes? Mew. Mew. You know I meant ionizing radiation. Yes, you did, Parker. Hi. I finally finished all the pizza and cheese sticks at my um, fridge, by the way. Oh, gonna get a burrito tomorrow. It's been so long. I might get two. I might get greedy and get two. I should really get, just stick with one. Oh, they're big burritos, but oh. I can go for a burrito right now. Box filled with goo. A table covered in goo. Is that a star? Is that a starfish with giant nipples? I don't like it. I'm Marina's first experiment. She made me out of sand and fruit when she was just a baby. Would you like to do pout, pet, or nothing? All right, I'm gonna leave this up to chat. Do we poke it or do we pet it? Is that what we do, Parker? Which option do we do? You can do pets. Yes, I'm gonna pick the first one I see in chat. Yeah. That's right. That's right, Parker. Yeah. Hello, Parker. Mew. Quote. <laughs> I want to have my dog frog babies. Oh, God. That was that was from our first... Or was it the second PragerU stream? I think that was the first one, yeah. Oh, God. That was a year ago? Good Lord. Pet. Pet. Everyone wants to pet it. Yes. Everyone in chat wants to pet it. By the way, I'm so glad to have people so active in chat lately. So, um... I'm okay with lurkers and everything. Fuchsia did a cartwheel. All right, let's let's poke it. Hehe, <laughs> that tickles. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now we were all <laughs> unanimous pet. An ordinary house plant. Its leaves are hard and brittle. Man, it's been it's good. I I don't care how many people watch me in chat. I just care that I have something to react to, somebody to talk to. So. If you're in chat, just saying things. It, it, it almost doesn't matter what. That is a terrifying sprout wall down there, by the way. I'm Marina's second experiment. She made me out of clay and rocks when she was just a baby. This guy. This guy over here. I feel called out. Well, you are called out. It's okay to lurk, but just no matter how many people I have to talk to, just something to react to in chat helps a lot. So you can be that one person. You can be that person that helps. Petting is cool, but I like handshakes better. He is mostly hand. Poke. Mm, poking is cool, but I like high fives better. We're not allowed to do anything relevant to his hand situation. Oh my god, it's a monster. Sprout Mole? Painful truth. Monster Sanctuary, the best monster collecting game in terms of mechanics. Oh, that reminds me, I have, um... Frick, what is it called? I have some kind of pocketed monstrosity. Capsule Monsters, I think. Is it? I don't think I have it installed. Capsule... No, something monsters? No, fuck. Cr creatures? Disc! Disc Creatures, that's what it's called. Yeah, thanks to Capitalist111 for that. I haven't tried it yet, though. Maybe I'll do a stream of that sometime soon. Has anyone played that? Disc Creatures? It's a very clear Pokemon clone, but it seems like an interesting thing. See ya, Sasimoto. Good to see ya. Let's go, Aubrey. Why is he happy? He's been happy lately. It's strange. Music is intense.
Also, this base is, I think, directly from, um, from, uh, what's its butt? Um, Earthbound. These creatures are okay, but grind heavy. Oh, that's a shame. That's not to chat to it and just it up again. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't usually do RPG games for streams. This game has, I grinded once off stream and, off stream, off stream. And I've never needed to grind since. I've never really had any major issues. I only grinded like two or three levels too. Like we are well beyond the point where that grind has become meaningless. And we're still just fine. Loses 41 juice, but do enemies actually even have juice? Because as far as I can tell, reducing enemies' juice does not do anything. I've never seen an enemy be like, oh, it doesn't have juice. For fuck's sake. Got watermelon juice. See, like, every single enemy is dropping as much experience as the that I grinded for. Last, you know, when I grind it. So you got a, oh, just a combo meal. Go away, mouse. My mouse was on screen. You couldn't see it, but it was there. Microscope. Just, you know, cages. What in, what fresh hell is lab... Fuck you. Lab rat. some mother three vibes from the sprout mole question mark question mark it has that like metallic pieces taped on it kind of vibe actually this is harder base than earthbound has so never mind It definitely burns that um, juice fast, but... It's making me miss my subwoofer, though. I have this, I have a subwoofer for the first time in years. I had it kind of cheap and shitty. 5.1 system uh, back before college. But it's uh, it kind of neat. But I haven't had one since then. I just have a 2.1. It was pretty cheap too. It was like 70 bucks. Uh, I, I should probably replace it at this point. I hate... I hate Humphrey. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. Tools for... Research. Research in like 50, air quote. It's a brain. Tap the... I am Marina's third experiment. She made me out of a rubber glove when she was just a toddler. What would you like to do, pet? <laughs> Who did that? Show yourselves. It didn't, it didn't like that. Oh, I want them burritos now. <laughs> what? Who's there? I think it's blind. Oh, hey. Wall face. It's got a big wall face. It's got the face of a wall and the wall of a face. Face wall. Dubious concoction. I'm even less sure about the gelatin here. So, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, yes! Some questionable gelatin. I keep expecting it to be like bop ba da bop ball, and then like reduce his health to one. 
But if questionable gelatin didn't do it, I don't know what would. Now, Amori, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, wow, sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Alright, we already read this one. Whatever. Let's have a picnic. Gonna get that picnic basket, boo boo. Dang, what happened here? This place is a huge mess. <laughs> All the furniture looks really dusty. It's probably been like this for a while. Looks like it used to be an office or something. Wasn't this supposed to be a lair full of sea witches? None of this stuff looks very witchy at all. I mean, we are basing this off to Sweetheart's horses. I don't know if I would trust Sweetheart. Much lesser sources. Did When did Sweetheart tell about this? I thought Humphrey said this. Not that I would trust Humphrey. We gotta stop, Sweetheart. We gotta get SpongeBob back! We gotta... She's definitely up to no good. We, we do? I mean, we can always mind our own business. Oh, is that what we're doing now? Protecting the world from evil? How fun! What does protecting the world from evil have to do with Sweetheart? I mean, she's pretty... Have you met her? She is evil! Thank you, Aubrey. Fair point. Well, I guess someone's gotta do it. Fetal position, Joe. That's what that's all my friends call me fetal position, Joe. Uh, all right. Oh. This does feel inspired by the um, battle with machine enemy or whatever. With a robotic enemy or something. From Earthbound, but that base is even harder. Enemies drop even harder too. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, so I gotta find a Humphrey, and then I gotta hit it with a hat, a bat, and that'll make a bridge. Y'all, y'all see any of them Humphreys? Oh, oh! I didn't even think of that. Fine. Good beats. I, uh, I want to check out this the um, soundtrack, but I haven't yet because I'm just fear spoilers. Which, interestingly, um, the um, the Undertale soundtrack, which is kind of bad because the Undertale soundtrack only loops every song once. Some songs are under a minute long, and they only loop once. Like, come on, Toby. You gotta loop every song for at least two or three minutes. I would say a three-minute minimum. 2.30 minimum, at least. Um, and they didn't do that, and I was... <laughs> it's a great soundtrack, but you have to, like, listen to, you know, extended versions on YouTube, as dumb as it is. So I own the Undertale soundtrack. I paid money for it, and I've only really listen to it on YouTube because whew, like a couple tracks are seriously under one minute and it's just so dumb. Um, Ordinary Houseplant is... Yeah, we read that. I... Oh, no. I'm moving these food things to the ones which make me out of dirty apples which are just a child. Watch your back to you. Poke it. <laughs> okay, that's... I don't want to, but anyway, Undertale has an anti-spoiler feature built into its soundtrack, and ironically, I can't mention which track it is without it being spoilers, but it was kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Let's never talk to this guy again. Right behind the stem. I will now never talk to that guy ever again. Don't you talk to me. Bonk. Oh. <laughs> Would you eat a chicken? Would you eat a chicken that you found in this place? Be honest, a broken computer. Oh. For some reason, these two shitty CRTs lined up right next to each other reminded me of computer lab in high school. All the times that were had. Watching fucking, um... 
what's that comic with John Froman? Not Half Life Full Life Consequences, but there's a there's a Half Life com web comic. I used to read that. I used to look up stuff on Newgrounds. Oh, good times. It's like a Will McDaniel monster. <laughs> oh, no. no, I already did that. Oh, Maria. No, I already, that's, that's kind of Humphrey's voice. I am Marita's fifth experiment. She made it a cardboard and candy when she was just a kid. It's literally just a pinata. It's literally pinata. Oh, my candies. If pinatas were sentient, do you think they would like bust a nut upon being like busted? Do donkey donkeys? They're more of a braying kind of thing. They don't really go nay, do they? I'm not sure if I've ever actually seen a donkey in real life. I've seen horses. Not sure if I've seen mules. I've been to a couple farms. I saw cows, but I don't know if I've ever seen a real donkey. Have you played Friday Night Funkin? No, I've not. Feels good to be acknowledged. I picked the right voice for him. Definitely the right voice. Little sea plants. Excuse me. I was looking at the plants! You prick! Whatever. Yeah, aren't donkeys more of the Aww! kind of noises, right? Bonk. For some reason, this game keeps reminding me of Team Fortress 2. It's been a long ass time. Someday I would like to stream some Team Fortress 2. I haven't played it since they put hats in. I don't know, some of you are like, there was Team Fortress 2 before hats, but yes. Back in the day, we just played the game because it was good. And not because of hats, or because of Steam trading cards, or because of unlockable items. We just played it because we enjoyed video games. Isn't that stupid? I'm Marina's fifth experiment. Sixth. I am the I am the master of the portal. She made me out of balloons and magic when she was just a teenager. I didn't mean to do strawberry clock, but he happened. Fuck my life. It's gone! It's gone! F's in chat. Plans for a failed experiment. <laughs> Remnants of an old office. Uh, f farted into the stratosphere. Incredible. I'm Marina's seventh experiment. Though numbers do get muddy at this point, she made me out of birds when she was just a teenager. Poke it. Ah! This makes me rife with anger. <laughs> this is... Oh god, if you've ever met seagulls or geese, that is a genuinely startling noise. That is not, that is not a startling noise. This contributes to my happiness. I've been told that's gum, no, is it this? Gumber pile, gumber pile? What's funny is I don't know who the fuck gumber pile is, but I can apparently do a voice. I think I learned it from the Simpsons. That's you. That's you, chat. You're the eye and the and the goo. You don't even know it. Waste. All right, we gotta go bat a freaking Humphrey in the balls. Fire balls, yum. I was thinking about batting this guy, but I figured for sure. Yep, there he goes. I figured it wouldn't be necessary, but it was. Go on. It doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. The balls are inert. What is that? What is that? What, 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 what was that? These are all jack septic eye all over. <laughs> that kind of is a septic eye, isn't it? I was about to say I don't know anything about jack septic eye, but then it doesn't really matter for that joke, does it? It's just an eye in a septic tank. What are you? Voices. I am Marina of Aethic Spearman, probably. She made me out of moss and bane sprout, which is just a teenager. Poke it. 
It's kind of cute, though. Just don't poke it. Oh. Okay, it's basically a Pokemon. Dubious concoction. <laughs> this is a needle. Who volunteers to inject this directly into their um, crotch veins? I'll pay you five bucks. Humphrey. I hate Humphrey so much. Hey, look, it's a flower crown. Oh, no, all the flowers are bruised up. It, it looks kind of familiar. I wonder who this belongs to. I think we should try to return it to them. This flower crown is in pretty bad condition. I don't think anyone would want anything like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. K Kel. Kel, what did you do that for? It's fine. You heard what Hero said. No one wanted something bruised up as that. But it used to belong to someone. Can get off a cliff is just mean. What? Why? Flowers grow back anyway, don't they? Right. Calm down, you two. Not if they're annuals. Kel apologized to Aubrey. Fane. Sorry. Aubrey. Apology not accepted. the implications regarding huh regarding uh basil are but we'll see what the i don't like this hmm. <gasps> mr golden kidders are you okay it's like horrible beetle creatures. Actually, there's horrible all kinds of different creatures. Actually, they're mostly horrible Pikmin creatures. There's a horrible beetle creature in this one. Oh, fuck! It's the freaking ultimate chimera. Speaking of Mother 3, we're in a 667th call. Do not poke the glass. I'm gonna do it again. Let me run. Oh, you can't. You can't run. Okay. <laughs> Don't. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no! No! no, no, no! Yeah, this is totally Ultimate Chimera from Mother 3. Okay. The lights, question mark, are going out. All right. All right. Oh, no. It keeps getting darker. Oh, there's a thing. There's a melon. We gotta get the melon. We gotta get the melon. No. Hard string. Huh. Wait. It's not still. It's not still chasing us, right? Door! Door, please! I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Oh, oh. Hot dog. And that's why we call a hot the dog. You got a hot, <laughs> you got a hot dog! Okay. Where was the thing? Oh no. 
Aww. Wait, really? The, the melons disappear. That's interesting to know. The melons, if you don't get the melon. I heard there was a lot of delicious watermelons in here, so I ate all of them delicious. I hope that was nothing important. Huh. We got a heart string from one of them. Did we miss three? We got a heart string, whatever that was. Heart string. Plus 30 heart. Wazer starts happy. Fragile. Treat well. Huh. Oh. <laughs> no, sorry, HP. Alright, hero. Do your thing. I'm not about to go and redo that in a um, during a live stream, but if you know what items I missed while during the chase segment, please do let me know. Ugh, this place is disgusting. What exactly is it you do here? It's not your business, lady. Just get back and relax. Oh, I feel nauseous. Inspiration. Or uh, oops. Well, that'll do, I guess. Alright, it's done. Here you go, lady. One perfect suitor coming up. <laughs> Say hello to your new soulmate. Hello. Is this some kind of joke? What do you take me for? I'm ten times... No! A hundred times more beautiful than that thing. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. Hey, with... What the heck? You can't just storm off, lady. Where's my money? I changed the accents, I got so fucking upset. I'm Australian now, fuck. Okay. Humphrey. I'm Humphrey. It's a little slime key card. I figured we'd have to go to all three, wouldn't we? <sighs> Boy. I think we're probably going to finish Humphrey Dungeon and then be done with it. I figured we wouldn't be ending it today. I knew there would be more. It's one of those games that there's always a little bit more than you think there is. Does this place even show up on the map? No, no, I don't want to see that. Orange Oasis Otherworld map. That's interesting. Otherworld has shown up and Firefly Forest has shown up in darkness. Orange Oasis and Pyrefly Forest are bright. And Deep Well is still black and white. What do you think that's about? Huh. Just Greek tragedy is word for word about this exact thing. I can't tell if that means Otherworld and Pyrefly Forest are completely finished, and Vast Forest is not, or vice versa. Orange Oasis is not finished, though. So Pyrefly Forest and Otherworld should be totally done. There's that well that we went into, by the way. Um, Sprout Mole Town is not totally done, because we- wait, no, that was an Orange Oasis thing. So if there's things left in Pinwheel Forest and Vast Forest, I don't know what they are. Waste. Waste. Welcome to Portal 3. Funky experiment music, uh oh. Oh, hello, Marita. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something extra special for you today. <laughs> As you know, I'm a very busy person, but alas, you're my sister. I will grant you access to my room. If you're able to solve my little gift, I will see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. Damn it, Molly. Gee, you fixed that popped in right out so men will fix in this too. I'm preparing the entrance for our exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet. You should come back later. Like tomorrow later. Under construction. Well, hello there, friends. Puzzles aren't everyone's forte. If you get stuck, I can help you out a little, maybe a lot. 
It is. It seriously is portal. Okay. What's this? Type puzzle. Memorization difficulty hard. You want to activate the puzzle. You know, choose another puzzle. Okay. Let's try the baby puzzle. M multiple choice. Let's try the easy puzzle. Theme pattern difficulty easy. Let's see the easy one. There it goes. I really wonder what those items we missed were. Okay. puzzle uh, lab work in progress to serve sparingly so Humphrey to Humphrey do you hear me hmm yes you try and turn it off and off and back again sure these numbers aren't correct oh wait seems I miscalculated I guess they're not oh this results are quite unexpected this knowledge I'll maybe be able to find the cure for mortality we understand so little about this world so we study it and our research just filled us with even more questions. It's an endless and fruitless cycle. According to our tests, it would seem that sprout molds grow from tofu. Who knew? Sprout molds are cannibals. Oops. I thought you just lasered someone. Looks like Marina just had a huge fight with the client. Things aren't looking good. It's tough to get, actually get any work done around here since Molly's always messing up our research. I wish I was assigned to Medusa's Quadrant. They always assign all the hard work, play hard times. Here they even have a water slide. They do. Of course. Calculations are simple when you put it that way. Water. So if I multiply the result, subtract by infinity, and then divide by zero, carry the one, that will bring me to an imaginary number. your waist. I can't believe I signed up for this. Science. Greetings, visitors. Would you like to try something cool? The machine here can perform remote teleportation. Power modern technology. Send the sprout mold to the other side of the grid. Take a look. What? An error. It's almost missed with the program. Probably Molly again. She always pulls stunts like this. Damn it, Molly. An unfinished bag of potato chips. I haven't had potato chips in ages. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Waste. I'm all ready to go. Prepare to be amazed. I should have gone through my notes one last time. We're testing. Prepare to be amazed. We're testing. Hey there, visitors. I've been leading to an experiment through a Humphrey through Humphrey movement. Come just in time to see our conduct our final test. You ready to go, gang? Let's do it just like we practiced. Fail. Success type console status broken. This wasn't my plans. Where'd everybody go? Oh, we killed eight out of nine of them. Good. Ooh. Okay. I can't believe I signed up for this. Dang it, Molly. at me like that for can't you see I'm busy actually I just got an idea one second though think you kids can try running through these button plates for me I just want to test something why don't you discuss it amongst yourselves and vote we should help Humphrey with the experiment vote in chat I guess all this science stuff is ruining my wholly incorrect assumption about this being a high fantasy game 
I mean, you can have fantasy with science. I mean, this is all in Amori's head anyway. It can be whatever it wants to be. Oh. Back. Stretch back. Oh. I feel a little hungry, even though I wouldn't think I would be because of this disgusting surroundings. subject Kel to what he deserves it. What? Why do I gotta do it? Fine, but I don't have a good feeling about this. Ow! Well, we learned fast. Science. Ha! I knew one of those spikes was broken. If I had a cup of coffee right now, I would sip it. Thanks for voluntarily risking your life. Guess now I gotta fix it. This, that's about what I expected, honestly. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I hate Humphrey so much. Ah, hello, visitors. S months upon months upon months of hard work and toil have successfully created the first ever Humphrey hologram machine. Don't they look just like the real thing? Couldn't be more prep. Molly tried to told me to stand here, but I don't know why. That one's not a hologram. Huh. Okay. Do we do a science? Do this, we got your back. stuck on here. I forget the second test. Okay, I see how this works. I see how this works. So... First test is left. Second test is down. Left, down, right. Left, down, right, up. What's well, easy. science at least Th that's a bomb by the way is that not just a giant bomb type puzzle status solved uh, let's do the multiple choice medium yes very creative area though Here I thought we were gonna be like all existential stuff, and then it's this. Okay, put the password. What is the password? I love Molly. Ha! Dead. I should have expected that. That actually reduces to all the one HP too. Alright, I should save. Alright, we should have a picnic here. Should have a picnic with your friends, yes. You guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid the bomb is going to explode? Just relax, Arby. We got this. The room's full of the smartest people I know. Doesn't make me feel better at all. Lady on the screen said she set it up for a sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Kel. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. It's probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mary? Huh? 
Oh, I, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks. That's not really an answer, Mary. I can always count on you. You're welcome. Here's a frickin' laser beam. Why does it have- oops. I didn't mean to run. But we did! Whatever. It's nice that things just get added to your inventory. While you're- you got mailbox. Let me guess it's an Aubrey weapon. Yep. You got mail! Box. Only eight less attack and we get actual speed and full hit rate. I'm gonna go for that. It's a little less silly than our current weapon. Hey, it's these guys again. Working magic hero. Ahem. Greetings, sir. Conveyor bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing your thing. Bzz, hmm. Nice person. Get lost. Huh? That's strange. That worked so well before. Don't be sent down here. He's probably just got all his gears mixed up or something. Did you say that any louder? He's gonna get even more mad at us. Hey, Scrap Heap, you'll turn those belts around for us, won't ya? This is, ah, mm, rude person. Eh, just like Molly. Oh. Weird. I can't believe that worked. Hey, what do you know? Looks like we did this charm thing, too. Oh, it's a. <laughs> it's a water mechanic again. Of course. Oh, it even made itself angry. All right, next save point or so. I think we're gonna call it quits for tonight. It is kind of a late stream and a Sunday stream. I do gotta work tomorrow. It sucks, but it's life. Say, Lappy, this is a good job for Aubrey. Really? Huh? Oh, I see. Oh, there was a key in there. It's a V. Uh oh. That's not one of the ones we needed. The hangman is being getting pretty complete at this point. I guess you gotta draw the face too. Trapped in a pink cage. In the gut of a whale, we do need that one. And we need tea. Large bubbly tank. Both of these we haven't seen yet. Though in the belly of a whale. That's weird. It seems like this should apply to this, but whatever. Even a more is taller. You got homework. Well, I guess that's a charm. Oh, it's sorted alphabetically. Oh, that's useful. I just noticed that. The bane of every child's existence where it starts sad. Uh huh? 
that's us in the mirror. Hey, this camera's look taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Aw, we look so cute. <laughs> Almost makes me wish we had a camera. Eh, don't worry. We have lots of pictures of us, don't we? We have pictures of us? Where? But only when we least expect it. What are you talking about, Cal? Something special. About saving everyone living their own lives. Um, you're being kind of weird. Huh? Uh, no, never mind. Probably nothing. Keep moving forward. I'm gonna find the solution to these puzzles. The bomb could blow any second. Teleport. Of course. Of course there'd never there'd be another one of these. These are so <laughs> That's such a, a Yuminiki thing. I've never seen a game make me do that other than the Yuminiki. Does that does that help? I guess it better. Ah. Interesting, there's multiple per area now. Help a port. I see... kind of? Choice answer, boys. Sup? So, um, what's that? Oh, that's so Chrono Trigger. This is this is shiny key card. You know, I need the shiny key card. Aww. Good thing I checked before writing this M, or else I would have written another B. That'd be pretty bad, huh? Looks like another one from Molly's Crazy Puzzles again. Oh, wait. Oh. Molly told us to write, stand our back and stand in this order. At least I think it was this order. Pretty sure I'm supposed to switch places with the one on our right. So you're right, I mean, it was the person standing in front of me. Not as some hypothetical observer speaking from behind a screen. So, boo. Boob. Is it boob? Boom. Okay, it's a boom. That would have been pretty bad. Oh, he's making the boob joke that I just made. A man of tape. <gasps> Shit, there was a melon! There was a melon. Alright, hang on. There was a melon. I gotta, I gotta get the melon, guys. Alright. We'll solve this and maybe the last puzzle. But I don't think we're gonna finish Humphrey's thing tonight. Because, like I said, it's Sunday. It's getting pretty late. Just being quiet. What's up, chat? Give me your secrets. Tell me your favorite sport, I guess. What was that Humphrey at the top right doing? I don't trust him. All right. We just gotta wait. There's eventually gonna be Spooky Dog. He. We may well not be able to grab the item, but I have to try. Just they seem random. And I think it was a normal item. Like it wasn't a blue watermelon, which are the special ones. Oh. There was a I was like fifty percent sure, but I had to be one hundred percent. So yeah, you can't get that. Alright. 
Eat some questionable gelatin. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh, the mirror. Oh, oh, that's the background. Oh, those like horrible pair of eyes. But no, it's just the um thing behind us. Do I input the password? Yes. What's the password? Boom. Boob should have been an option. It's too hard. If anything, that would have been easier to guess than the first one. Alright, the hard one. Memorization. Alright. So is Molly stupid, or like, why would puzzles keep her out? Then again, puzzles keep Ganon out. Oh no. It's time for, uh, cut the always cut the red wire. Uh, keep talking and no one explodes. I'd like to stream that again sometime. Ooh. Again sometime. What? Down, left, up, right? I, I guess. I see. So it's blue. It's blue. Green. Blue, green, red. Oops. Blue, green, red. I'm not sure if it starts or ends with white. No more bomb. Rainbow portal. Right, let's go to the rainbow portal. And save. There hasn't been any boss. I figured there would be like a boss at the end of each thing, but I guess there's just one boss. Which is probably gonna be Humphrey's like weird creepiness. It shouldn't be Sweetheart again, so I don't know. Unless it's like some amalgamation of the three horrible clone sweethearts. How long is this going to take? I don't have all day! My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. And finished? At last. My greatest invention ever is complete! It's purple. Purple's a good color, I guess. It looks evil, though. 
Now speak. Speak, my beautiful robot. That's a good password if you need one, though. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound right. So they must be off with the code. It's cause because you made me rush my work. Instead of love, it now has to be reprogrammed. To kill. <laughs> Don't blame me. She's your robot. Thanks to you, my hope of finding true love has been shattered. Disappoint me greatly. I'm storming off. She sure does that a lot. My, what a handful. Well, she's not my problem now. The murder robot probably is, though. I almost forgot that girl. She owes me payment. I must catch her again before she leaves. There's the slime key card. Oakley dokley. Mama, uh. ma, what's with all the commotion? There must be some fun activities going on downstairs. All right. Let's do a quick save, and I think that'll be it for tonight. We will finish Humphrey's horrible vor den tomorrow. Uh, actually, not sure about tomorrow. Maybe. This is so concerning. Um, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't think I can wait until Friday, so. <laughs> I'll probably keep streaming tomorrow, honestly. Monday is like the worst day to stream. Like, the, just the worst day for anything ever. But. I'm just not that patient, so I will probably be streaming very soon. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next stream. There's always the playlist if you miss any of the videos, so you can watch the whole thing on there. Good night. Join us in the Discord, by the way. Do a little Discord thing. <sighs> now I have to get ready for work tomorrow. Ugh. So I'm gonna go to gonna go to bed early ish. Hopefully. I've never been good at falling asleep. It sucks. I take melatonin, which does help. I'm gonna good night's rest. Thanks! See you, Mir. Aisha and Sleepy Pup. I will <laughs> probably tomorrow I'll stream. May maybe Tuesday, I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling. I gotta drive through the snow tomorrow. Oh, the snow. And it's all that it's the crunchy hard gross snow. Oh, that's gonna suck. But whatever. See you later.